Here are some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. I'm going to show you how to set up your calculator to graph a function quickly and precisely. Let's start with the basics of graphing a function. Create a new document and add a graphs page. Just type your equation into the entry line. Here we're going to type in a function, f of x equals 2x minus 4. Hit enter and graph your function. Want to place a grid behind it? Easy. Press the menu key, select view, enter, grid, and select the type of grid you want, dot, lined, or no grid if you have a grid that you want to get rid of. Now let's talk about setting the values for the axes. There are two ways. One is to use the window zoom menu. Press menu, select window zoom, and right arrow to open the sub menu. To set custom values, select window settings. For a standardized test, it's best to start with a window of negative 10 to 10 for both X and Y. The other way is to set the values right on the graph itself. Use the touchpad to double click the axis boundary values. The tab button will take you from one axis value to the next. Now, let's see something you may encounter on a test. We've already graphed the function. Let's find out what y is when x equals 3. Here's our graph again. Now let's find the value of the function when x is 3 using the trace feature. Open the menu, select trace, and graph trace. Use right and left arrows to trace the function. Note how the cursor stops on points of interest such as x and y intercepts or zeros. To answer our question, what is y when x is 3? We simply type 3 and press enter. The cursor jumps to the point on the graph where x is 3. So, the answer is 2. Fantastic. All right, so now you know graphing basics, how to set up your calculator, graph a function, and use the trace feature to find points on the graph. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. And be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for Test Success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.